to make this video slightly quicker i've already torn the package but this is the first time that i'm getting the trousers out the packaging was good in the sense the trousers came unharmed the plastic inside is also unharmed and is okay the seller is imperial or this is the actual seller and it says imperialstore.com and these are the other brands that they deal in so these are the trousers and uh, right off the bat i will say that there is a mistake because i had ordered the woodland pattern which is closer to our uniform pattern and what i have been sent after about a month of waiting is the tiger stripe pattern yes so this is the tiger stripe pattern tiger stripe uh sizing information large regular and the design is sfu next mark 2 sfu to my understanding stands for special forces uniform next pants and mark 2 version tiger stripe and also it says poly cotton stretch rip stop so this is going to be a rip stop trouser which is always good they also have the other version which is a canvas material which is quite thick uh, more durable but then quite warm also and the fitting i find is slightly different uh, the packet has got information in all the languages so which means that they usually probably sell to a whole lot of other countries including japanese and chinese and and russian and lot of other languages also the packaging also has this helicon text branding on top so although it was a very small package and was twisted but inside everything is okay and the plastic wasn't torn so i am happy with it uh, but as i said i had ordered the woodland pattern and what has been delivered to me is the tiger stripe tiger stripe pattern i think if i am not mistaken came into being in the vietnam war uh, where it was first used by the american forces and then subsequently uh, other versions of this has been used by other armies and i guess it is still being used that is why these pants are still being made in this particular design so tiger stripe as you would probably understand are these stripes uh, but not exactly like a tiger's color palette but it is kind of similar there is black and then there is green with certain amounts of brown it looks interesting however this is not close to our uniform regulations and now because i've got these from a international vendor it'd be very difficult for me to send these back because i'll have to pay customs duties again which i do not want to so i am more or less stuck with the tiger stripe pattern now in field areas we can wear uh, whatever the hell that we want to wear but uh, generally it is much better to be closer to the uniform as much as possible for effective iff identification of friend and foe uh the trouser is brand new so i don't see any problem with that uh starting from the top it again has helicon text uh branding with the patches here on the inside also it says that it is designed in poland which means it may be manufactured elsewhere it is designed in poland and again it gives out the sizing information here and also the design that is the sfu next then there is another another patch here this says again it says sfu next pants hari context and uh, it says that it has got waistband adjustment which i'll just show you and it is also compatible with low profile protective pads it says designed in poland and crafted in china so these are made in china 
and it says Helicon takes petrol line. So probably these are designed for petroling. Then it has got additional sizing information here. Okay, starting from the top, it has got a button closure. It has got in fact two buttons right at the top and the zip also is all buttons. Thereafter coming on to the side to adjust the waist, you have this velcro which you can tighten to reduce the waist size or you can loosen it up to the full extent possible. So these are the velcro on both sides for tightening and loosening the trousers. The loops aren't very long, so at best probably a belt which is one inch thick will go inside this, uh, nothing more. Uh, thick web belts will not be possible to wear with these. Front pockets. Front pockets are cut like a jeans pocket. I would have wanted them to be slightly more uh, spacious in the sense allowing more space for the hand on the inside the depth is kind of okay should have been slightly more uh, not too much and on the inside also they are given this tiger stripe cloth so which is okay there is no division inside the front pockets on the other hand also same pocket with no division again it has the cut of a jeans that is the front pocket then again on the front there are these small pockets for you to put in small items they should be able to take in small pistol bag jeans or maybe a tactical knife or maybe a torch a small version or any other small things that you want to put inside so it's got one slit pocket here and one slit pocket here also so it's got two pockets here on both sides these are slit pockets they don't have any velcro, however they have this small piece of cloth which is overlapping the pocket itself. Then coming on to the main pocket. The main pocket on the side, uh, you will have to agree that the tiger stripe pattern is kind of effective in the sense all the pockets are merging into the trousers and cannot be seen very easily. So this is the large cargo pocket on the side. They have one simple slit in between for blousing. Uh, they don't have multiple slits unlike other trousers. The flap for the cargo trousers is stitched up front. So this can't be opened. However, at the rear, they have this Velcro, which is a good design feature because up front, you don't want it to actually open or drop things. And it is kind of slanting. If you look at it, the trouser pocket is slanting from front to rear so front is the lower part which is stitched and on the rear the upper part the cargo pockets are quite huge in the sense if you put your hands inside there's a lot of storage space but unlike other cargo pants from the same vendor and uh, other designers also it doesn't have further bifurcation inside it's got one single pocket for whatever that you want to put inside but spacious and similarly it's got a velcro closure and similarly on the other side also is the identical cargo pocket on both sides and one new design feature on this is these pull tabs so if you want to access your pocket you just have to pull on the tab and open the velcro here and maybe on other parts also they might have given these pull tabs okay so these pull tabs are there only on the side cargo pockets on both sides on the rear they have another two pockets uh, they are also not very deep a fit for keeping small items only and they have this flap stitched onto the cloth to keep it close there is no velcro for securing things inside similarly on the other side also so it has two slit pockets 
on the rear on the rear also they have given this additional cloth on the seat this is additional cloth which has been given on the rear on the seat so which is a good design feature because this area takes a lot of abrasion when you are sitting down especially out in the field so that is a good design feature i find that most of the stitching in most of the places are double stitched so that is also okay uh, there is bar tacking also on stress points there is bar tacking that is multiple layers of stitching so that it doesn't come loose on the inside it does have a gusseted crotch that is this additional piece of cloth on the inside in the crotch area to give you more space and the cloth does have a little bit of stretch also yes it has stretch so which means it is going to be comfortable the cloth is kind of light it is this rip stop pattern a rip stop as many of you would already be aware is a pattern that is designed specifically to keep the cloth light while giving it strength the rip stop design is designed ideally to keep a tear stop it within that check pattern and not allow it to spread so that is a good design feature now coming on to the knees the knees have space for knee pads at the bottom they have this velcro and inside the velcro you can insert knee pads for the knees again a good design feature also if you do not put any knee pads inside because they have this pocket for the knee pad so perforce there is double cloth at the knees which is always good so it has got double cloth here also because this is also high abrasion area and if you put your knee down at least you have got protection of two layers of cloth so that is that and underneath the trousers underneath the trousers they have given this additional ribbon for you to tighten the trousers if you want so this is a good design feature i do not like elastic at the bottom of my trousers i like to tie it and keep it slightly loose so that there is ventilation also but then it doesn't brush under your boots and go slightly over your boots so this is quite ideal it allows you to ventilate also while still keeping that uniform appearance and allowing the trousers to be bloused so that ribbon is there on both ends ribbon or you may call it a string also it is there on both ends i feel that the length of the trouser uh, being 32 in seam is looks quite adequate i do not think these will be short unlike other chinese manufacturers when they give a 32 in seam uh, sometimes the trouser is short but in helicon tech i find that 32 is adequate for me otherwise i have to upgrade to a 34 in seam in other trousers that i buy so it's a basic simple trouser i find that the tiger stripe does work well at least within the trouser itself to try and hide all the pockets and the features it does work well here but unfortunately for me i will not be able to use it with my normal uniform because it doesn't have a bdu pattern or in fact the bdu that we wear is also slightly different but then the normal bdu is still close to a tiger stripe is quite different so that is that